How are we doing today, people? This is Mark, the iCloud helper, coming to you from Cardiff City. Today, I am doing a video on how to bypass. It's like a short tutorial video of how to bypass an iCloud activation lock on an iPad Mini 3. Okay, so we're doing this today on the iPad Mini 3. And... <clears throat> The software, the program that we're going to be using to do this bypass is Sliver version 5.2. There is another updated version of 5.5, but 5.2 currently works for me at the moment. Um, <clears throat> so I don't need to download the 5.5, but the 5.5 is the best. Um, would also like to give a major thumbs up to Apple Tech 752 for making this happen. Um, his site holds all the downloads. Be sure to go to that man's site for the downloads and be sure to subscribe to his channel. Um, because, you know, when it's concerning Apple, he's the man. And there's a big thumbs up to him, you know, for making these things happen. Okay, so moving on, um, <clears throat> with Sliver, the download um, is basically, so you can either go on to Apple Tech site, uh, Apple Tech 752, you can go on to his site and see one of his tutorials on how to download Sliver, yeah. Or you can watch one of my videos. Um, I believe it's the one where I do the MDM bypass. I, in that video, I show you exactly how to install Sliver upon doing the um, the removal or the untethered bypass of the MDM. Okay, so now I'm just going to jump right on in. And um, first things first... So it's connected using Mac. Um, this man, Apple Tech, he's got a lot of uh, downloads. Um, some for Mac, some for Windows as well. But they're not all for Mac. So um, please do go to his site. And most importantly, do subscribe to his channel as well. Okay, so Launchpad. For this, we're using CheckRain. And we're going to need to use the check rain that is 0 0.12.0. Okay, folks. Um, and as you can see, I'm connected to Wi-Fi. I have to show you this because this is very important on what I'm going to do on this bypass. Okay. So we go start and next. So <clears throat> check rain is about to put my device into... A jailbreak state okay now i'm gonna have to right so it's gonna go into dfu mode um sorry about this folks huh. yes successful <laughs> DFU is successful. So, once this bit is done, I'm going to show you something very important on the iPad that you have to do. And then we're going to jump straight into Sliver. Okay? It's very, very important that you do this. As you can see, it's, um, it's now doing the jailbreak. Boot in. Once it's done, I will show you exactly the next step and what needs to be done next, okay? All done. Right, okay. So, <clears throat> before closing that or doing anything to that, this is what you want to do. Go onto your device. Okay, and you're going to go into your um, 
we're going to go on to more Wi-Fi settings, okay? So, whichever you're connected to, the one you're connected to, the I, select the I, and you want to select forget, forget this network, and then forget the network. And then it'll say done by there, select done. Yep. So then, once that's done by there, um, basically you right yeah that bit is so it's so we want to get it on a page where you select setup manually sorry about this <laughs> we want it on that page there okay folks right now this bit's done we're gonna get off that we're going to jump into Launchpad. We're going to open up the greatest sliver. And um, we're going on more options. And this is the bypass 12.4.8. So, relay device info. That's done. And now, what we're going to do is, we're going to select Make It Rain. Should take a few seconds. And once that bit is done there, I'll show you exactly what we got to do on the iOS device. Once this bit is done, sometimes it could take up to 30 seconds don't usually take much longer than that really does depend okay so the payload's been sent no problem we leave that there we move on to this now this is very important select this here connect itunes and continue and there we are folks there we are there is the bypass done for you right there not exactly the same as other bypasses, tethered, untethered, otherwise, you know, but um, it's it's a bypass all the same. Um, and, you know, at the end of the day, it gets you into your device, you know, um, you go through your setup and that, and, you know, you can, you can do things on your device. Do you know what I mean? Um Connected to Wi-Fi, so, you know, you can use the internet. You want to go on YouTube? Go on YouTube. You want to uh, uh, go on Netflix? Go on Netflix. You, you want to do what you want to do? Do what you want to do. Uh, you know? Um, so, I mean, this is a bypass. Obviously, it's not a full removal. But as you can see there, folks, you know, you saw what i done. I'm in here now. Um, and just to confirm, it is what I said it was. So it states there, um, iPad Mini 3, um, oh, the software is actually 12.5, I actually thought it was 12.4, but yeah, iPad Mini 3, um, and yeah, basically, there it is, in the device, bypass done, not a problem. This is Mac, the iCloud helper, coming to you. From Cardiff City. Take care of yourselves. And see you soon. Before I end the video. Please like. Subscribe to my channel. Any questions. Please do drop them in the comment section below. I would be more than happy. To reply. And to help you folks out. Thank you. Mark. iCloud helper. Cardiff City.